My name is Anas Al Tikriti. I'm the CEO and founder of the Cordoba Foundation, and I'm also the president of the Muslim Association of Britain. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this evening and to this event. This event is held in partnership between the Cordoba Foundation and the Syrian Human Rights Committee, and it gives us great, great pleasure to be working together on this fantastic cause. Why Syria? Why now? We are in the midst of so many stories that are hitting the headlines. We're in the midst of the Brexit craze. We're in the midst of crimes committed against the Uyghurs. We are, against, we are in the midst of an Indian occupation of Kashmir. We are in the midst of crimes committed around the Middle East against the Yemeni people, against the Libyan people. There are so many issues that we could have addressed, so why Syria, why now? Very simply, this event comes in order to achieve three main objectives. The first is so that we do not forget. In the midst of all these calamities, sadly, what started with so much promise eight years ago has now turned into a fading memory that the world seems to want to wish away, seems to want to forget all about, seems to want to sweep under the carpet as though those eight years never were. We are in the process, it seems, where the world is collaborating, is all complicit in trying to rehabilitate a regime that massacred over a million of its people and caused the displacement of more than five and a half million within their own country and outside across the world. That regime now seems to be about to be welcomed into the international fold as though nothing was done. Not a blood, not a, uh, a drop of blood was spilt. And therefore it is imperative that we remind ourselves and we remind those who choose to forget of what happened eight years ago, where we were eight years ago, and where we are now, and the sacrifices that were paid in order to etch the struggle of the Syrian people in the books of history never ever to be forgotten. The second objective is to send a very clear and vocal, unambiguous message to the British government that over the course of those eight years, how many times from this very hall, I myself recall at least four, five times where we stood and we issued a message to the British government that within our banking sector, we have the assets and bank accounts to the tune of tens, often hundreds of millions of pounds in the names of those who are butchering the Syrian people. And that the least the British government can do is to close down and freeze those assets until the Syrians have their dream of freedom and democracy and those assets could be returned to them. We demanded that the pillars of the crimes that were committed in Syria be stopped when they come to holiday or to shop in London. We demanded the clear, unequivocal statements be issued by our Prime Ministers, one after the other, and senior ministers, condemning what is happening in Syria, making absolutely sure that those crimes that are committed on an immense scale every single day will never go unnoticed and will never go without a clear message of condemnation from our country. And the third message that we aim to send out today is to the Syrian people. Hopefully this conference will serve as a unity platform. We have amongst the organizers and the supporting organizations numerous Syrian campaigning organizations on the level of law, in the level of politics, on the level of media, on the level of humanitarian work and charitable work, and hopefully bringing them all together to issue a unified one message to the Syrian people that their struggle will never go unnoticed, will never be forgotten. 
that we continue to stand by, even if those who are powerful, mighty, and have the resources, and have the means, if they forsake them, we will never do so. Our stand with the Syrian people is unconditional. And from here, from this blessed place, from East London Mosque and the London Muslim Center, we, all of us together, we send that message to the Syrian people, wherever they are, inside of Syria or across the world, that their struggle is ours and that their voices will be heard and indeed will be echoed. So that's why today's event is so important. Before we start our program for today, just a few points. This event is being shown live on Al Jazeera Mubashir, and you can also catch it on the Cordoba Foundation's Facebook page. It's, all, it's supported by 22 organizations and groups of varied natures and specifications, as I mentioned before. We have speakers today throughout the night whom I thank each and every one of them for making it in order to shed light from their own perspectives on this particular cause. The format of the evening will be that we will carry on until the call for Isha prayers at approximately 8.15. Every speaker will be given approximately five minutes and hopefully we will break for 10 to 15 minutes in order to perform Isha prayers coming back to continue up until around 9 o'clock, maybe a few minutes just after 9 o'clock. There are donation boxes scattered around the hall. For those of you, we, this e event is not, and I want to ensure everyone, this is not a fundraising event. This is not a fundraising event. However, it would be amiss of us if we didn't allow for those who wished to give for this cause uh, the opportunity to do so. So around the hall, there are several boxes clearly marked for donations. So those of you who can, please do give generously. And finally, the Cordoba Foundation, we are proud and indeed honored and privileged to be upholding causes such as this. Alhamdulillah, over the years, many of you have attended our events in support of all oppressed people, whether it be those in the Middle East, whether it be those on the fringes of the Middle East, whether it be those beyond the Middle East, whether it be the Aigur, the Rohingya, whether it be Kashmir, whether it be the Bangladesh and what's happened and continues to happen over there, whether it be Yemen, whether it be Libya, Egypt, Palestine, Syria, Iraq, and the list goes on, and we, bi'idhnillahi ta'ala, are committed to upholding the causes of every single one of those wronged people, whether they be east, west, north, south, it doesn't matter, because injustice is injustice. 